Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero with another NES Classic. Today we're playing Pinbot. Now, this is kind of a weird one because it's really a, an NES version of a pinball machine. But there is an awesome robot for you. I think that was probably featured on the side art or something on the original pinball machine. But we're gonna go ahead and play this. You can play four people, it's just alternating. Nothing special. There's some high scores. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Here's our first ball. Now, I, I, I really like pinball machines. As you could barely hear there, it actually tries to do something awesome with some vocal things, so... Here I like what they did. They make it so you can always see the bottom. And, uh, as with other... He is at my control, and then I die immediately, which is awesome. And that's just how pinball goes. But I really enjoy pinball machines, and I honestly really enjoy uh, simulations of pinball machines. So, if you don't enjoy that, then you're not going to enjoy this. But if you do like that, then I think you'll like this. So that's a skill shot that's hard to make. Um, on this game, anyway. Um, I kind of like how they, they did little things like putting trails behind the ball to make it look like it's going faster. Um, it also makes it a little easier to track, I think. Um, kind of like when they did that with ice hockey on television, but everyone hated it. So this is one of those things that you'll either like it or you won't. Uh, there is what happens when you don't hit the ball hard enough in the skill shot. And uh, basically... This game is faithful to the pinball machine, for the most part. So there we go, I got one ball in one of Pinbot's eyes. If I can do the other one, then, uh, then you'll see what happens when you, you get both of his eyes. Oh, that was close, almost got that one. Well, that's also good. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that don't get explained. And you can't really read the board, so it's kind of tough. Now I see you, he says. All points are doubled, and we got multi-ball. And uh, I knocked one of the multi-balls back into his eye, which is good. <laughs> but uh, basically the point of this is, is you're supposed to take a ride through the solar system, and, and there are different things that you activate to move yourself, yourself through the solar system from one planet to another. And uh, when you die, you'll see the, the progress that you've made. See, I got right back in again, and you got that's what you want to do. You want to keep doing that. So I, I, I don't remember a lot of things about the pinball machine, unfortunately, um, so I can't describe to you every way to, to score points or to, to get bonuses. Um, in fact, I can't really describe any of them, because I don't remember, because I haven't played it in forever. But... As you can see, I mean... <laughs> you you want to keep hitting these up into the eyes as long as that's open. And as you can see, an arrow tells you where you want to hit the ball, and so... Okay, see, now this is the weird mode of the game. This is the part that's not really true to the original, because the colors don't change like this on the original. See how there are now little... There's like a guy in the middle of the screen that, move, that moves from time to time? That was not there in the original. That's like someone made that up for the Nintendo version, and I kind of wish they hadn't, because this game is actually a pretty good... Um, a pretty good approximation, if that's the right word, a pretty good simulation of the original. And somehow I just got both balls to fall down the, the bottom right after I got an extra ball, which makes no sense. But it's a pretty good simulation of the original up until that happens. And then there's like enemies that you can hit your ball on. So look at that. Pluto, Neptune, Uranus. I, that's awesome. I mean, I got all the way to Saturn. That's a pretty good ball. So we get to reshoot, but we're still in, like, weirdo mode, so I don't know how this is going to go. Light extra. I'm not sure what that means. Light an extra ball? I don't remember. 
In any case, we'll try to hit it up there and see what happens. Oh, 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 so close. That is the only unrealistic thing about this, is the ball kind of just floats. Like, <laughs> there would be no way on the real version of this to bounce off of something that's not a flipper and make it all the way into that, that ramp that's up there. But, you know, I'm not really going to complain too much, because this game is still a lot of fun if you like pinball machines. And if you can't have one in your house, well, you know, this is pretty much the next best thing. I am not doing well at getting it into there. That skill shot is killing me. But look at that, I get to go reshoot here. I'm not sure how long that light extra will stay lit. Right down the middle. That was awesome. Jupiter and Mars. We, we're doing pretty well. I haven't played this in forever, so that, that was pretty good to make it to Mars. I mean, honestly. Good enough that uh, when you get a game over, you hopefully get to enter your initials. We'll see if I got enough points for that. Yeah, look at that. Seventh place. So our initials... So that wasn't too bad. Um, as you can see, I could have done a whole lot better if I were crazy good at this, but that's Pinbot, and if you haven't played it, you get a chance. Uh, I would give it a try. If you see it in an actual arcade and you can play the pinball machine, then all the better, because it is one of the better ones. Uh, it came out in 1984, I think. So Anyway, join me next time for another NES classic, as chosen by Mailman Zero. Bye.